Hello everyone, welcome back. KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. Back to my all-time favorite ICOM IC9700. Guys, I'm on this radio almost every day and it still impresses me. It's by far one of my favorite radios of all time, especially with AM 2 meter and sideband 2 meter. Digital modes on 2 meters like FT8 and PSK31. But to go against everything that I've said to you guys and how many months I've said, oh, I never update firmwares. I leave it alone. I was on the stock firmware. Decided to update the firmware on it and look at the new mode that ICOM puts in this as of February 2020. Picture mode. You'll see the little icon here on the newest firmware. Picture mode enables you now to use a Windows application or Windows device or a Android device or an iPhone device to wirelessly send a picture to your device and then go through and actually send these pictures over D-Star. And, you know, that, that's, just, that's just something I think is really cool. Check it out. I've uploaded some pictures already. No, that's not my truck, but I wish it was. I mean, there's my high gain I was on with, uh, you know, but like I said, it's not a, it's not a picture album here. This is for you to set the picture and then send it over D-Star uh, and probably other modes. And the ICOM 705 that's coming out that I will have just the second I can purchase one of those devices will have the same thing. Imagine being out there in a the field and be able to send somebody a picture over D-Star while you're talking to them at the same time and it pops up on their screen. If you don't have a 9700 but you're on the receiving end or you're on either side with an ID51 or an ID5100 with the tablet. I've showed you a video on that. D-Star, you can do picture messaging wirelessly, Bluetooth to an ID5100 or to an ID51A cable, uh, you know, handheld with a cable. You can send pictures back and forth. And you may say, well, what do I want to do that for? I have a phone. Why not? Right? Why not? It just makes this radio that much more fun to have a picture mode in there and as you're talking to people and collecting, it's like collecting QSL cards on the screen, you know, when they pop up on the screen while you're talking to people. So we're going to tell you real quick and show you about the new photo mode on the IC9700. And then I'll hopefully get a hold of Craig or somebody locally that's got their station set up. So we can send pictures back and forth and see exactly what it's all about. I think it's just an awesome feature. That's my truck right there. So let's check out the picture mode on the ICOM 9700. Ham Radio Concepts. Okay, so let me explain how this works. Now, I'm in DV mode here, okay? What you'll see when you, let's exit out of this and I'll show you. So let's say your, nope, let's say your radio looks like this, okay? Get your scope, your DV mode. Okay, so you're first going to go into the picture mode, which is under page two. Enable that. Now you're going to see I've already been messing with this. Um, receive tile and transmit tile. Now, the receive is what would show up on your end if someone sent you a picture. The transmit is the one that you would transmit. Clicking on this transmit picture here, okay, you could go and choose which picture in memory that you would want to set as the transmit picture. Okay, um, all right. Once you set it, you can pick the picture size. By default, it's 320 by 240, and the picture quality is standard 50% by default. The larger the picture, the higher quality, the longer it's going to take to send. Okay. Then you can have receiver down here if you're, I guess, directing it just to everybody or a certain individual. So um, the high quality I'll show you looks pretty good. Okay. Um, but that would be, if you're looking at the picture, you see the blocks on here. Now the blocks are the pieces of the puzzle that it's going to send. When you start transmitting, it's going to send one block at a time from your radio to the receiving end or to anybody, and it's going to uh, show that block on the other end. So it does it in sections, okay? Um, when you go to a higher resolution, you can see that it's more blocks because it's going to take longer to send, right? So. Uh, a couple things to note here that I've figured out, okay? Um, let's go back here. Okay, so in this situation, we have two buttons, picture transmit or transmit all. Let's say you're on 30 Charlie, okay? This is what you gotta be aware of. You don't wanna lock up the repeater for four minutes sending a high resolution 
uh, image or just, you know, over a repeater and lock the thing up, right? So what I did, and what I would recommend, is the picture transmit mode. Now, as you're keying up and talking, it's going to start sending each individual block. When you're done and you let go of the PTT, and it's the other person's turn to talk, just like a normal communication, in the background, seamlessly, it's sending those pictures, uh, pieces of the puzzle there. And if you have a 9700 uh, on the other end, they're going to see each individual block come in in real time, and they're going to see it stop when you stop transmitting. Over four or five or six overs back and forth talking, eventually that picture will be assembled on the other side. If you were to go in transmit all mode, this is going to start and it's not going to stop until all the blocks are finished. Now that may be useful for simplex. That may be useful for if you're on a repeater that's just not active and nobody cares. Remember, you don't want to tie up a repeater that could be potentially used in a life, uh, life situation where somebody needs to use it. Um, with that being said, if you do picture transmit mode, you're using half of that data rate for your voice while you're talking and half of that data rate for the picture. When you do transmit all, you're using the full stream, high speed data stream to send that picture. It goes twice as fast, although it's going to tie up the repeater until it's done. Now watch here when I start transmitting. You're going to see if I go picture transmit, you're going to see the block and I'll put this down here. I don't need that much power. All right, you'll see the block start moving as I'm transmitting. Ready? This is KJ4 YZI testing uh, 123 on the ICOM 9700, KJ4 YZI. Now you can see it stopped, right? Now the other person would talk and then you continue and it's gonna keep drawing the blocks until it's finished, okay? So you get the idea. In picture mode, go to receive and you can see your, your history and that shows you the quality. That's a high quality image right there. You can see the quality, uh, you can zoom into it, right? Zoom out, zoom in. Save it to the SD card, there it is, and it's saved. But it gets better than that. Now check this out. You could take the app here. This is the ICOM ST4001 app, 4001L. Open the app, it's very simple to use. All you would do is you could tap on the screen, hold it one second, open up photo from camera, take a picture, your camera roll, go to photo library, go right here to selfies, and we'll pick one of my buddy here, Chachi. Okay, there's my buddy. Right? I could rotate it, crop it, hit done. I could add letters here, text, you know, make it look like a call sign, QSL card, whatever. Now, because I'm on Wi-Fi on the same network that my ICOM is on, I'll hit the send and look on the screen. Application is requested to transfer a picture. Yes. Now it's going to take the picture in. Now, I will notice and tell you that you see how it's not going, it's gonna error out. And I blame this either on my phone or the app. Now watch, I'm gonna do it again. It's something to do with, you have to do it twice before it actually works. I'm not sure what it is. It might be my phone, okay? But that's it. Now I just sent it from my phone over the network to the radio. That's what I'm gonna transmit, uh, transmit if I wanted to send it. So you get the idea. What I'm gonna show you is, um, we're going to look at the Windows software real quick. See how that is. This also is available for Android on the app as well. And then I'll show you some uh, testing with me and Craig on how we sent a picture back and forth. And uh, that'll give you an idea of how this works. And again, the 705 that's coming out, it's gonna have the exact same option. And who knows what's gonna be in that little square? Cause this square was blank and they added it in the firmware. What's that feature gonna be? I have no idea, I can't wait to find out. But that's your uh, uh, setup with the app here. Let's show you on the Windows software real quick. Very simple software, the picture utility software. So I just go to uh, transfer settings first off, you want to put the IP address or network name of your radio. That's my local IP for the radio. Uh, and we'll go to file, open. So I'll just pick a picture here. We'll go, uh, I don't know, right here, get the CDU picture. And there it is, look, see? I can put text here, uh, right? And then you just hit transfer. And that's it. It's on my radio, I hit yes, and there it goes. That's it, very simple to do. Um, can you save the pictures from the radio to the app, I don't think so. It only looks like you can just transfer. Uh, I mean, they'll be on an SD card. You could take the SD card out and put it in your computer and get those off. But um, yeah, that's it's just as easy as one, two, three. If you're on the radio, you got this thing running, you could just put pictures in there. You guys are more organized with photos than I am and uh, add them in there. And while you're talking, they just seamlessly go in the background. There's my picture I just loaded. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it on 
I'm going to go picture transmit. Okay, and now as I talk, watch. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We got Craig on the other end here, and we're going to see. He's going to download the picture utility suite. All right, I've got the SD4001A software loaded, but I'm not sure if this is compatible. Um, try to send the picture one more time if you'd like. Try low resolution so it does go quicker. Um, and we'll see what happens. All right, KJ4YZI. It is sending right now. Uh, low resolution. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know, 120 by 240 or whatever at 25% quality. So we'll see what happens. It's about halfway done right now. And the picture is done. Anything? Yeah, I actually got it on the, uh, the other software. I didn't notice my uh, plug on the side of the radio would pop down. So uh, go ahead and send the picture again in high quality. And uh, maybe let's not talk this time and we'll get uh, twice the bandwidth. Um, ready to receive when you are. Okay, it's a good idea. Let me change the picture here, and I'll send one uh, just as a full transmit. Hopefully, it's faster. Stand by. Let's go here. Let's send. Let's send that one. Let's send it low quality first. And we'll go like this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Much faster. Now, look how fast that transmits without talking with it. So, double the rate if you're not talking. At half the rate, you could talk and just casually send it in between overs. Now, let's see if he got that one. Okay, it's sent. Craig, what you got? from KJ4YZI at 160 by 120 and uh, it's got three bad pixels in it. I'm going to send it back to you. Stand by. Go okay. into receive mode. Okay. Now, let's see. Receive mode, it should pop up right here. Oh, there it is. See, look at the drawing. One bad pixel, two bad pixels, three bad pixels. So those are the three bad pixels that Okay, I did get that, so I see the three bad pixels on, like, line three and six. I guess that's what I sent to you. Very cool. A lot faster um, when we're not talking with the double data rate. Uh, very, very cool. It just pops right up. I've still got my scope and my waterfall there. Still have my uh, D-Star information up top. Just happens to pop up on my screen in color. And you can click on it. There it is. See? So that's low quality. Yeah. This is uh, remote is awesome and I think we can send text messages back and forth as well yeah so me and John did the texting before on the app although I don't have that capability I would say that they would be able to add that to this if they can do pictures they can do the text although a lot of people probably won't be uh, texting on the front of this radio but yeah just so I, I just think that's so cool uh, to be able to send pictures like that just on the fly. It was cool with a tablet, but it's even cooler. It just pops up on the front of your radio. And this is KJ4YZI. Okay, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot you've got the new radio. Um, stand by. I am sending you a high-quality picture, 640 by 480. Here it comes. Here it comes. I love the, the, the build-up. <laughs> All right, here it goes. There it is, drawing. See it? Now that would be a high resolution, larger uh, resolution and higher quality. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Eric, 
Yeah, man, that, there's a little bit of a line missing on the pixels, but man, that looks good for a, <laughs> for a picture received over the radio, man. That, I want to pull that on the computer. Um, I guess that was... Oh, it tells you the time. Okay, not the, how long it took. That took about, what, four minutes or so? But yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, picture number one, sent by K4CPJ. The receiver, I didn't send anybody to, to receive it. I just sent it to everybody. It started at 21.0051. High quality. Neat stuff. I just love this mode. So easy to use when you've got everything set up right. Now remember, we're going straight through the repeater. It'd be interesting to do this one night when you're in a hotel room on the reflector. Um, see if there's any additional lag or anything. I doubt it because the uh, reflector is on a uh, really robust internet connection down in Port St. Lucie. It's uh, a gig symmetrical, so it, it shouldn't uh, cause any problem. Well, I think one thing to stress maybe in the DU is in case somebody ever hears that, they know what it is because if nobody knew, it looked like the repeater is just locked up with the beeping. Beep, 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 you know, uh, in case they don't know. But also, uh, yeah, um, I, I, I think the picture transmit mode would be better so that I could be on a reflector with, say, 30 Charlie, and it will send the picture, and it may take five, six, seven overs, but it's not locking up an entire reflector. Whereas this one could be used simplex and not hurt anybody. But uh, I think the mode that they give me on this radio for picture transmit versus transmit all, uh, where I can just send casually and driving and not even knowing it, or at home not even knowing it after five or six or seven overs, the picture shows up on their screen, you know? All right, Eric, it was... Uh... Interesting to get the remote control software on the Android tablet uh, working again. Jim Davis, W2JKD, and I tried this many, many years ago when he and I first turned on uh, this D-Star repeater here in Indian River County. And uh, we've been experimenting ever since. And it's uh, nice to uh, use this uh, part of the functionality of the repeater uh, again. So uh, we look forward to doing more and more. Uh, with D-Star and uh, really all of our uh, modes here in Indian River County, digital modes in the county. 73 for now, K4CPJ. You know, it's the, the glory of ham radio is this, guys. This may not be for you. You may not be impressed. You may not ever use it. And you're not going to, I don't expect you to go out and buy the radio for that feature. But it's there. There's no zombie apocalypse. We can have fun with ham radio, something like this is fun to have when there's no hurricanes. Yes, D-Star is over the internet, but let's have some fun with the hobby and just another cool thing right there to add to the radio that makes it just so much you know, more cool with another feature. And for those who say, I could send a picture with my cell phone. Well, can you do it with a radio? Probably not. 73, KJ4, YZI.